Hi guys, Porky here and hello and welcome to my channel. This is part 19 of my attempt to beat 1984 campaign on cold waters with the skipjack submarine. So, just that's our mission there. We have to uh, find an enemy carrier task group. Uh, check my loadout, increase my decoys because I'm in port from a previous mission. <clears throat> going off to the assigned area <clears throat> I'm just moving my boats around a bit here because sometimes occasionally these missions go through the Denmark Strait as w instead of uh, where I am now so there we go that should be contact Okay, gone to ultra quiet as always. Have to do that immediately. Come right to zero three six helm I. Make turns for three. Make turns for two knots. Maneuvering I. Okay, where are these guys? It's Thirty degrees. Okay, there's a Kiev, right? So, of the 1984 uh, ships available, Con, sonar, Sierra, that green, is the uh, that is probably the biggest one you can ship. get. So uh, that's that's a good sight. Con, what else is there here? Cannon. Con, sonar, Sierra two is classified as escort. Con, sonar, Sierra two is classified as and escort. The so so far we got a, a big carrier. A cannon and a Krivak. Ooh, a Udloy as well. Right, okay. Now, Udloy, you've got to be very, very careful. Those are quite formidable ships. Now, there's this, there is a little bit of a thermocline layer, so I might use that to my advantage. Yep, I'm going to do that. Uh, the Kiev carrier is quite a large vessel, so it's going to take more than one torpedo as well. Um, which I don't mind, it's not a problem, except for the fact I can only wire guide one torpedo at a time. So I will have to uh, probably snapshot a second torpedo in the uh, in the approximate direction and uh, hope for the best. Okay, so my firing solution is increasing, 67%, but I will lose that when I uh, drop below the layer. But it also means they can't detect me either. That's impressive actually, still got sonar signatures on those guys. I thought I was going to lose the uh, detection there. Con, helm, steady course. 72% on the Kiev. Where possible, I do like to get a maximum solution uh, of 95% before opening up on my targets. Uh, reason being just because you know you've got accurate uh, position zero, on them zero, and um, you know they are definitely exactly where they're where they're being shown on the TMA uh, screen there okay so about 300 feet Okay, he's got 82% solution. Oh, apologise, 92% actually, not 82, so I'm nearly there. Um, because I'm launching below the layer as well, I 
doubt the uh, the launch will be detected Con just yet. Lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero. One, Look at that beast, three. eh? Massive. Yep. Yeah. I do love taking on these big vessels. Uh, it is quite rewarding when you see, when you sink them. Because sometimes you, know, you can play this game for quite a long time and uh, basically get bumped by all kinds of other vessels that aren't actually on your mission list or on your target. Uh, you know, your target tasking. Uh, so that can be quite frustrating. You know, just taking out the occasional submarine or whatever. But then, uh, yeah, you get a proper mission like this. It's like you know, sink a huge asset. That, that's something I really look forward to. Come left to two, seven, three, helm I. Okay. Passing four hundred. Well, they clearly don't know where I am because looking what they, where those uh, enemy torpedoes have dropped, I believe they're probably SN14s, so uh, they're nowhere near me. So they definitely can't hear me. I'm just dropping my depth down as well to about a thousand feet. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Oh, there's a wire gone. That's fine. It is pretty bad, actually, that you can only wire guide one torpedo with the skipjack. That, that, that's not very helpful, but uh, Mark 48 torpedoes more, more than make up for that fact, because uh, they are extremely good. They're pretty much fire and forget, really, as long as you uh, can get them within seeker range of the target. Something exploded over there, probably one of the SSN-14s, I would, I would imagine. Con, okay, I lost my, uh, I lost my solution on him. Lost my, uh, sorry, my, um, my detection of him. There he is. Nearly there. Come Con on. Sonar, noise maker, bearing zero, one, two. Okay, so there's strike one. Uh, like I say, that won't be enough to sink him, uh, but I do have another torpedo on the way, so that should be enough. But I might, uh, I might launch a third one just so I can guide it in as well. Come right to three, four, seven. Helm I. Also, on all these missions, uh, one thing I didn't realise until recently, that sinking That's enemy nine, vessels, nine. not just on assigned missions, but you know when you get bumped by another vessel that you weren't even looking for, they do count gradually towards your, your win completion uh, chance. But you get like a lower uh, score for each kind of additional uh, non-mission generated uh, contact you bump into and sink. Okay, I'm down pretty deep, so hopefully their torpedoes won't find me. And there's a helicopter on the way. Okay, I'll just set my seeker as active. I uh, set my seeker as active on that torpedo. So it looks like I've got three torpedoes coming in my general direction. Con, but I think City they will course. probably just pass overhead. Yeah, a little bit of time compression there, speed things up a tad. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, zero, one. Contact breaking up. Okay, there we go. Impact any moment now. Uh, 
Okay, second impact, so it is going to take a third torpedo strike on that. Come right to three, five, six, helm I. Launch another decoy as well. It'd be a shame to uh, Aye, to get killed on such a valuable uh, mission. Don't want to do that. Okay, making two knots. Oh, yeah, okay, he's all stopped. He's dead in the water, a sitting duck. So this one will be the coup de gras. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Con, helm, steady course. Con, fire control, yeah. we've lost the wire. So there's Kruvik uh, bearing down on me, so hopefully my second torpedo will take him out. Bit of time compression there. Con, torpedo room, tube con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, now is that the Kiev it's found, or is that something else? I want to make sure I sink the Kiev, if nothing else. Because uh, worst case scenario, I should hopefully be able to run away, uh, having sunk the Kiev though, because that's still a mission win. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay, speeding things up just to uh, make it a bit less boring. And there we go. The Kiev is gone. Fantastic. Okay, there's a Krivok over there. Aye, sir. We'll put it into him, I think. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. And by looks of it, he's going in the general direction, just passing uh, one of my decoys there. So, he might have realised the decoys in me, but he probably hasn't got a good fix on where I am. Which is just how I like it. Okay, I lost detection of the target, so that's why it jumped on my TMA screen. Oh, there he is. But it's always good though when you when your torpedo is close to the enemy and they drop a countermeasure because even if your TMA uh, solution is out, you if you know from the um, from where the countermeasure shows up, that's pretty much where they are. Oh, it's speeding things up. Because this should hopefully be mission over soon. Con sonar, noise maker bearing zero, there four, we go. Three. Let's drop the noise maker, but this is a wire guided. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. And boom, there you go, done. Okay, aircraft nearby though, so that's one thing I'll have to be careful of. Make turn 
Sirens 4. 1, 0, Knox. Maneuvering eye. Make depth 1, 0, 0, 0 feet. Dive eye. Con, dive at 1, 0, 0, 0 feet. Dive okay, eye. Okay, so now it's time to escape. Come left to 2, 6, uh, 9. Couldn't no make in 10 knots, which is a pretty good escape speed because at that depth as well, you're not going to make too much noise. Okay. Come right to zero, one, zero, and also, no yes, nine. if I go um, sort of in the vicinity of where I've already sunk the other ships, five, I'm hoping uh, noise generated from them on the bottom there with the bubbles coming off them uh, will mask my sounds. So. Hopefully I'll slip away. And there we go. Mission complete. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, drop a comment in the uh, comments below. And also, um, give me a comment if you need help with the game at all. Thank you very much for watching.